For 16 years, Dr. Gary Vilk has practiced and taught emergency medicine from the perspective of an ER physician and as a first response doctor. Ankylosing spondylitis presents uh, in a number of different areas. Uh, almost universally are the sacroiliac joints, which are affected basically 100% of the time, and that's part of the diagnosis of the disease. The lumbosacral region is diagnosed about 50% of the time in patients. The rib spine junction, uh, that's the area where the ribs meet the spine in the back, that's about 70% of the time. Hips and shoulders are involved about 30% each. The neck is involved three quarters of the time, and eyes are involved almost 40% of the time. Uh, at times, it will even cause increased curvature of the spine to the point where people can't look up or forward, and it can even become what's called like a, a bamboo spine. This is a normal spine, uh, the thoracic region in a patient without any ankylosing spondylitis. And what you're seeing here is the normal disc spaces. Again, no calcification, nice clean discs in between each of the vertebral bodies. Here you see the calcification of an AS patient. It's one long bone. Uh, it's calcified all the way up, and again, it looks a bit like bamboo. Again, the name bamboo spine.